On today's video, we are unboxing and telling you guys a little bit about the smart screen Apple CarPlay device. Now, this is a newer updated version, a 9.26 inch screen, and I like it. First impressions, I like it. It's it's new and improved in the simplest ways that make it a little bit more efficient compared to previous models. And let's just dive right into it. All right, unboxing the smart screen right over here, nicely packaged with all the details on the box. So let's go ahead, pop it open and see what is included. Off the bat, nice foam all around the screen, securely protected. And as you can see, the screen comes in a cover here and the screen is protected. It does come with a camera and the base stand already attached to it. And it is flexible. And I like the fact that it's flexible. Let's see what else is inside the packaging. All right, we got some wiring here, instructions manual. Let's take a look at all of this. So first things first, what do we have? We have the instructions manual in a bunch of different languages. Pretty simple to use and clean cut. So very good. You can use this to help you install this device in your vehicle. It also comes with a warranty card. So if you have any issues within the warranty period, they will honor that. Let's jump into the first wire harness, which is a 12 volt power plug USB C connection. And it also has a USB on the charger. Going into the next wire, we do have the reverse camera with all the wiring that you need. It's plug and play, and you can also wire in the red wire to your reverse lights. Also comes with a couple of uh, double-sided tapes to mount the camera. You also do receive a completely different base, just in case the first one goes bad. A little tool to help you tuck some of the wires through the panels and a 3.5 aux cable as well. You also do receive a window suction mount that is pretty, uh, you know, versatile. You can adjust it any way you'd like to make it work for your vehicle. All right, the most satisfying part of the entire video. Wow. So the device is pretty simple. It has that USB type C input the AV in which is for the reverse light it has that 64 gigabyte memory card and it also has that 3.5 millimeter aux input all right before we power this on i mean i already got my power connector connected here and just to fyi guys you want to use the same connector that came with the kit because otherwise if you use different things it will interfere with the fm radio when you're trying to play music through the FM system and I like it because it also has an additional port here you know you don't take away the function of one of your 12 volt charging slots and yeah overall pretty nice and here's here's the kicker though it's it's, it's pretty slim uh, it's a 9.26 I believe inch uh, screen and you know I saw the camera at first and I saw that it's it's mobile but I didn't realize it comes up so that's awesome because that's one thing that i was really looking for is a camera that goes up so when you put it on the screen you can still capture what you need to capture and adjust if you do need to adjust it and it's a really sleek design because i've tested one previously and like the camera went up and it twisted but i almost felt like it was very brittle and it could break at any point this is really solid and the best thing is there's literally no wires sticking out from there whatsoever so really really good job with this integration right here and other than that i am a fan of these flexible mounts because dashboards are kind of crazy like you can see my dashboard it has grooves in it it has humps and bumps so having something like this that is actually able to flex a little bit and mold to the dashboard is awesome good job with that and again it does come with other attachments and as well a suction cup for the windshield so let's turn this puppy on all right so i'm gonna go play with these settings real quick get familiar with it connect my phone to this apple carplay device and then i'll share more information shortly after but right off the bat this already looks 
like very similar software settings to a previous Apple CarPlay device that I tested out on the channel before. One extra bonus is once you turn the key on, it's actually illuminated red. So at night, when you want to plug something in, you're not searching around, it's, it's pretty visible. Nice little touch. So initially, I'm a fan of the layout. This, the main home screen looks pretty good. Uh, some of the options here, again, is this is the main home menu. You got your brightness. You can adjust the brightness sensitivity as well as just setting it to auto and it will automatically adjust based on the day time. I like to keep it nice and bright for the video. Same thing with audio. Audio, it has an internal speaker and you can mute it as well. The internal speaker right in the back over here. And you know, for the small speaker that it is, it does a decent job playing some jams. And I like the icon, the camera icon, which takes you to the video section of the of the whole thing. So as you can see, you got a front facing camera and I got the rear camera connected as well. Let me, let me pinpoint that rear camera as you can see. That's the backup camera that can be routed all the way to the back by your license plate. And the thing I love about these things is just by plugging the camera into the device, you already got a video picture that you can always just dial in, right? Whenever you're driving, let's say you're backing up, you just touch this screen and you will have whatever the backup camera is showing. And the cool thing about the backup camera, actually, let me show you real quick, is on settings, when you go into camera, you can actually select and adjust the reverse lines. You know, you'll have to play around with this, make sure it's it's within the right length. But then the cool thing is you can just pop, pop, and you already see where you're backing up. Now, if you're really anal and you want that reverse camera light to always pop up, they do already provide all the wiring you need. So you would just wire in this red wire into your reverse lamps into the power wire there and every time you switch your shifter to reverse it will automatically trigger the camera on the screen so you can have those two options again going on to the main screen looks pretty good those are the few settings here and over here you can also see that red dot showing you that it is currently recording video and there is a memory card connected there is bluetooth and and I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I'll get back to you with that shortly. And again, this is an Android Auto and Apple CarPlay device. We do have an iPhone, so we will be demonstrating the uses on the iPhone, but it does the same exact thing on Android. You got Apple CarPlay and AirPlay. AirPlay is pretty much mirroring your phone. Whatever you play on your phone can get displayed on the Apple CarPlay device. And again, CarPlay, as most of you guys already know, it's a standard option in many cars, but older cars like my car that have no screen, this is the perfect gift for someone, or if you're trying to just update your technology in your vehicle, you can definitely get something like this to stay cool with the crowd. So let's just first go into settings and we'll show you guys the options. It's a pretty simple layout. You got your general settings, your camera settings, and your system settings. System settings include language, uh, feedback, tone, date and time, storage information on the memory card. If you want to format the memory card, factory reset the whole device, or if there's a newer firmware update, you can kind of find out here and update your firmware. Going on into the camera settings, Resolution, it, you can record from 720p all the way to 4K. I'm not exactly sure what all the resolution details are, but 4K is an option. You can choose your duration of the video recording uh, and then it will just keep re-looping. So one minute, just for example here, there is also a collision sensitivity option over here. So it uses the front camera to see if there's any objects or anything approaching and then it can give you a collision warning and you can check how sensitive you want that to be or probably turn it off. Microphone on the camera on or off as well. And again, the reverse camera lights right over here. You can adjust them based on what parking settings you prefer. The general settings include a screensaver. So if you want the screen to turn off on you, you have a couple options here. I uh, prefer not to have the screen turn off. You can change the whole 
bar, whether you want it on the left side or the right side of the screen. You can also have a split screen mode, which we will kind of show you in a little bit. Um, full screen, again, you can pretty much see everything in a big view and the split screen will, will give you the camera and everything you had already on the full size screen. Just kind of compact it all to be smaller, but more things on your screen display. So now that we are on the camera screen, there's a couple of options here. This is a start and stop recording. You can also lock a video that you think is important and you don't want to be deleted. It will save it into a separate folder on the memory card. You can also take a screenshot right over here of whatever the camera is displaying and you can turn on or turn off the microphone. So the cameras are pretty good and I'm not sure on the resolution, you know, 4K, it looks like it's using the H265 codec, which is the newer codecs for editing. But overall right now, doesn't look too bad. The camera, the camera's picking up just fine. And again, like I mentioned before, you can always pop that camera up higher and it is adjustable. So if you need to turn it a little bit to get that view you want, you can definitely do so. All right, now pretty much the last part here, let's go into Apple CarPlay. What we're gonna be doing is we have to go on to our Bluetooth option on our phone. And when we scroll down, it will find the device name, which is T86 Pro. So we can see that it is located it already approve that and once you get a confirmation you're going to pair the two devices allow everything to sync and then it will take you directly into your carplay the first time is the longest time it takes to pair but once it's paired it should remember your phone and you don't have to repair for future times you start your vehicle and now you can clearly see the classical CarPlay setup screen. So you got your phone, you can make phone calls, you can check your Apple Maps as well as Google Maps. You can send messages, read messages, check your calendar, WhatsApp, and listen to music. So for example, we're just gonna go on the music section, we're gonna throw something on, and we're gonna briefly tell you guys about the audio options that are included with this setup. So again, Primarily, it will be playing on the default setting, which is the audio from the device itself. But, all right, let's pause that because we don't want this video to get demonetized. But let's go back to our smart screen over here. On the home page, once we go into audio output, you have a few ways you can get audio out of this device now first of all like you just seen demonstrated is the speaker itself right and then if your vehicle already has bluetooth capabilities you can also just use the bluetooth audio capability pairing and it's just going to play directly on your bluetooth headset device however this car does not have bluetooth on the vehicle so the only options you have to pair it is an aux cable which we already have connected and FM receiver transmission so you can select any station you want right over here and you want to choose one that doesn't have audio already playing on it such as 106.1 and then you, you find that same station as you can see I'm gonna find 106.1 right over here and all you hear is static right but once you hit play there you go. So it actually is pretty darn good for just having a FM transmission on a radio station that has static. So depending on what station you're playing, it still might have a little static in the background, but you can mess around with which station you are on and some are better than others and then also because we have aux port connected you can choose to play via aux port and both of them sound pretty good you know that's something to definitely consider because some devices are not that good with aux and they have a lot of static depending on like how good quality the cables are and whatnot but this one was pretty good the quality on aux is phenomenal and comparing it to the FM to the aux, um, the aux definitely sounds like a better option. But if you don't have an aux 
or Bluetooth, I mean, your FM transmission is pretty much your only bet, but it's still pretty darn acceptable. Like, I would not be mad if that's what I was using and it was still giving me some good audio. My heart is broken. I feel so far gone. You were my one and only. I think about you So if you are interested in going and checking the cameras, if you had an accident, you just go on playback right over here and that's going to pull up all your options here. We do have the locked videos, which are again, the videos that are saved. So you can rewatch those videos and they won't get deleted. You also can see all your photos that you took. We took one here, took one here and the videos. And I'm pleasantly surprised to say that it looks like there's a channel one and channel two option, as you can see. So very nice update. Both channels are recording the previous model that I reviewed. The backup camera was just a live camera for viewing. It would not record. So it looks like clearly that camera now, there's a channel one and channel two, both cameras, both the front of the device and the backup camera are recording huge up huge up thank you for doing that because i was under the impression that this one would not record and it did good job so now if you want to use airplay you do have to go into your wi-fi settings and we're gonna have to find airplay here and there it is we're gonna connect and type in the password it provided us so at this point the screen mirroring is working and we're just going to go on YouTube right now and we're going to be watching Bully Kid's newest video. Right over here we have the King Tech Pistons. All right and uh, we got we got Bullets Garage here. Yo yo, 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 check it out. We're testing the brand new Apple CarPlay device, man. Oh, you got a nice device there. This is this is brand new. and uh, this Wireless is... Apple CarPlay? <laughs> you know oh, it, man. And it has a freaking camera. Yo, yo check it out. It? Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Boop. Wow. wow. That's, that's actually pretty neat. And actually, the cool thing about this one, man, is that reverse camera, it actually records too. Because the previous ones I had, the back ones didn't record. You gotta send me the link for that so I could get me one of those. Yeah, yeah, link in the description below. Check it out. Appreciate you. Peace. All right, well, that's the review of the smart screen Apple CarPlay device. So if you guys are interested in picking one up, you like the options, uh, I will have the link in the description below as well. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video. I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see us.